YouTube, it's the HC Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Cross! Let's try taking on that Dodo again, this time the proper way. You see, the problem with Dodos, actually with a lot of enemies, but particularly Dodos, is that when you cast an element on them, they have a very, very nasty counterattack. Most of them aren't as severe as the Dodo, but in this particular case, uh, you just don't cast elements on the dodo, and you'll be fine. It will never use that squark, counterattack thing, whatever it is, and you'll be fine. Just use physical attacks on it only, and just keep on doing that over and over and over again. Uh, Surge and Pulsho would probably be the best way to go about doing this. And, I mean, watch. I mean, just normal physical attacks. You know, I can deal with, you know, 13, 15 damage. That's fine. You know, nothing too far out of the ordinary there. Let's have Poshol take on those, uh... I don't know what those things are. Uh, Drongos, that's their name, but... Uh, I don't know. I should have Poshol take on the Dodo, but... Eh, whatever. Yeah, Lena's not too good with her, uh... Ladle there, but... Eh, you take what you can get. Let's just finish it off with, uh... Physical attacks now. By the way, one thing I'm trying out with this video... You notice that there's... At least in my opinion, no lag. Someone suggested to me a codec that I'm using to record this video at 100% quality, and I'm noticing no lag at all. I mean, even at 90% with the old codec I was using, uh, I was noticing even a little bit of lag, but I thought it was, you know, much more tolerable than before. But now I'm trying this new one someone suggested to me, and it seems to be making an enormous difference. So. Uh, unless I notice, like, some sort of desynchronization after uh, recording this whole thing, this looks like it'll work out pretty well. So, I'll give it a shot. Let me know what you think of the new Kodak viewers. By the way, in the uh, last episode when Lena died there, uh, what happens is when someone dies after the battle, they're automatically revived with 1 HP. So, you don't, you don't have to need, like, Phoenix Downs or stuff like that. I mean, there is a revived element out there, but that only revives them during battle. So, I just thought I'd let you know about that. Out of curiosity, do you like it when games do that? When they automatically revive you like that? I don't know, but... Anyway, over here we got a Bellflower. See how useful that can be. I don't know how much that influences the plot. You get, like, a little bit of extra dialogue and a little scene, but that's about it. And if anyone knows how to talk to either of those dragoons, like the one to the left or in the upper right there, let me know. I don't think you can get over to them. You can't climb to the left from where I am now, but this guy doesn't want to let me down there, apparently. But yeah, I don't know if I like it when games automatically revive me like that. I mean, I suppose it makes it flow a little better, so that is good, but, you know, it kind of takes away a little bit of the challenge, too, or the danger of being uh, killed. Let's steal this Dodo's egg. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Well, okay, we gotta fight that Dodo. It's a little stronger than the ordinary Dodo I was fighting before, so I'm gonna take care of that off-screen and be right back. Okay, I also decided to uh, off-screen the backtracking there. and Some enemies reappeared again, so I figured I'd fight them to get the money. Or gold, or whatever the currency is in this game. Oh, that must be uh, their translation for DAMN IT! Shake it! We can't just shake back to the manor. Yeah, uh, I put Pepper's mannerism is to use shake in just about every sentence. And, uh, what was it? Uh, Salt's mannerism is he uses a lot of redundant redundancies. Well, we managed to take him on with uh, Karsh, so I'm not worried about these guys. All right, let's do it! Another nice, charming little tutorial boss battle. Let's see what these guys are gonna teach us this time. Uh-oh, they got a black element with them. I'm totally unprepared for black elements. Oh no! <laughs> okay, now I recommend taking on Salt first, actually. Even though alone, Pepper is a little bit more of a threat, you can take out Salt first. And they have a dual tech that they can use together. Huh. That, uh, that didn't seem to do much damage. No, no, it is not an attacking element. 
that's a, a, the turn color element, in this case black, like I got a turn red element earlier. Um, since he used it on me, now I'm also black elemental, it adds that element to your own. I'm still white, but I'm also black elemental now too. And but they forgot to bring a white attack element with them, so that doesn't really do them a whole lot of good. The idea with a turn color element is you change the element of the target, so that way you can deal more damage to them. But they can deal more damage to you too, if you're the opposite color element. So, in general, I just don't think it's worth the time to use that sort of an element. I mean, it's like a, a debuff, I guess, but uh, I just... I don't think it's worthwhile at all, really. Oh, yeah, I suppose I should have Surge uh, use that arrow saucer that I got. You do have it, right? Uh-oh. <laughs> Pepper ore box. Ow. Maybe I should have Lena heal herself. Surge, can you... No, you can't finish them. Uh, can you at least heal Lena? There we go. These guys can actually kill Lena, because they got a dual tech that... Um, well, that can take her out in one shot, so we gotta be careful. I wanna take out Salt as quickly as possible, if I can. Yes! Go, Lena, with your spatula of doom! Or ladle of doom. Whatever it is. Wow, whack him upside the head with that thing, man. Get him, Surge! Anyway, uh, one thing I wanted to mention, because a few of you guys were asking about this, how some of you said that Mojo was actually quite useful for you. Uh, the reason he's not so useful for me, in general, is that, uh, what is it? When you recruit a new party member, their stats are random at first. Uh, not really random, but random enough. Uh, at least that's what I've heard. I don't know how true that is. I've never bothered checking. There is certain tendencies that some characters have, like Lena will always be somewhat more inclined to being a magic user, and Posho will always tend to have more HP and more strength. So sometimes Mojo will have pretty good stats, but usually for me, he doesn't, so I, I just don't care to use him. And uh, his abilities aren't that useful either. Let's heal up, and ooh, we got a copper. That's a, a base material, as we call it. Like, um, the weapons and equipment that I have now, they're base materials made out of bone. Copper is the next upgrade to base material. Then there's iron and mithril and so on and so forth. Now, after defeating that, or winning that boss battle, we're at level three. Let's see, do I have it yet? Yes, we got our first tech. I think, I don't know if every character has it at this level, but we have our first level three tech. It's basically, you use it just like an element, except, uh... You know, you don't have to allocate it. It's permanently there. So, like, uh, Surge has dash and slash, uh, single targeting attack, uh, so does Potial, and it's always your innate element, too. So, and uh, Lena has a, uh, well, her level 3 tech there, too. Uh, yeah, so for now, they're not too interesting, but there's some more interesting ones that we can get later. Okay, so now that we're through Fossil Valley, we can just walk right through. We don't have to go all the way through it again. It's kind of nice. Like, let's, let's say Final Fantasy VII, like with the Mithril Mines there, you know, um, like you would have to go all the way through the dungeon to get all the way through. But in Chrono Cross, you don't have to do that. Once you've beaten an area, you can just walk right through on the world map. So that's kind of nice. I like how they did that. Now, a few people were telling me about this part where if you talk to the cat, you get a little more background on the surge there. Huh. Well, that's not good. Oh! Well, that's really not good. Oh, in addition to the physical scars. Wow. I guess you're kind of used to being dead, huh, Surge? Dying all the time like that. Okay, well, that's just the one thing I wanted to show you while I was here. Okay, so let's see, is there anything else? No, I think we're pretty good for now. So uh, I'm going to head on up to uh, Termina with Lena and do some shopping there. Next time on Let's Play Chrono Cross! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.